In this podcast, I will discuss the imaging modalities used to evaluate the liver, gallbladder, bile ducts, and pancreas. When assessing a patient, there are certain symptoms from the history, physical exam finding, or laboratory abnormalities that will lead to an evaluation of the hepatobiliary system. Patients often will present with acute abdominal pain that localizes to the right upper quadrant or epigastric region. Some patients will present with jaundice or fever, others with ascites or splenomegaly. And oftentimes these signs and symptoms will be accompanied by laboratory abnormalities who will lead you to want to do additional diagnostic imaging. Ultrasound is widely available and inexpensive to perform. It does a very nice job of identifying the presence of gallstones. It can detect bile duct dilation. It's good at evaluating the liver parenchyma for findings of cirrhosis. It can look at patency of the hepatic vasculature. And it's also a nice inexpensive way to look for masses within the liver. CT is the workhorse of diagnostic imaging and it's commonly used to evaluate people who present with acute or chronic abdominal pain. It's one main drawback is that it's not sensitive for all types of gallstones and therefore a complementary ultrasound or MRI may be necessary if computed tomography is used as a first line modality. CT is very good at evaluating for the complications of pancreatitis and that is where it can really excel over ultrasound or MRI. The one drawback to CT is that it does use ionizing radiation. Magnetic resonance imaging or MRI is our most sensitive and specific imaging modality for a wide range of pathologies that occur in the liver, gallbladder, bile ducts, or pancreas. Compared to other modalities, it is particularly good at detecting abnormalities of the bile duct or the pancreatic duct but it performs just as well as the other modalities at detecting cholecystitis, gallstones, cholecystitis, masses within the liver or pancreas, or pancreatitis. It does have some drawbacks. It's very expensive. It can be technically challenging to perform and interpret, and it requires patient cooperation. Your patient must be able to sit in a long, thin tube for up to an hour and they also have to hold their breath for up to 20 seconds to get good high quality images that are not blurred due to motion artifact. ERCP is another excellent modality. Its main drawback is that it is invasive and because it is an invasive technique, it is predominantly used for treatment. They have to place an endoscope into the duodenum to access the bile duct and then inject contrast into the bile duct. Once there, they can treat a wide range of pathologies, including placing stents for duct obstruction, removing stones or sludge, treating bile leaks, and also sampling tissue for any evidence of cancer. In summary, ultrasound is a good, inexpensive, widely available test to evaluate the liver, gallbladder, and bile ducts. It particularly excels at detecting stones or sludge within the gallbladder. CT is a good all-round modality for evaluating abdominal pain, and it particularly excels at assessing complications of pancreatitis, and it is not very good at detecting gallstones. MRI is the best comprehensive modality, but it is expensive and can be complicated to perform and get good quality images. ERCP is an invasive imaging modality and therefore it is reserved for the treatment of biliary pathology that has already been diagnosed.